Adventures here! Woohoo! And in this video, we are going to be reviewing Scrafty! Oh man, Scrafty is one of my favorite fifth generation Pokemon! Holy shit, like, the design is so cool! It looks like a combination of a hoodlum, of a lizard, a dragon, like, damn, son! Like, damn, just hot damn. The one, one thing I don't like about it is its shiny color. It looks kind of bleh, like someone just puked all over it. But, this isn't about that. We're reviewing Scrafty from a competitive standpoint, and let me tell you something. When I say that this thing is a threat, I mean it. This thing is a threat. I just, I'm telling you, the thing is a threat. You better listen up and listen good. So anyways, the typing that it gets is so damn unique. We get dark and fighting, bro! Only shared with Pangoro. Hey, that kind of rhymed. Anyway, so we have an immunity to Psychic. We strongly resist Dark. We resist Ghost and Rock. We are weak to fighting and flying and very weak! Oh my god! To Fairy! Holy shit. But you want to know something? You want to know something? You want to know something, Fairies? I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of you. You know why? Heatran. Anyways, so if you know how to build a team correctly around Scrafty, you'll have no issues with covering its weaknesses then. So anyways, let's take a look at the abilities here. And let me say that you can't go wrong with any of these abilities. First ability that we got is Intimidate. And Intimidate lowers your opponent's attack stat by one stage. That's pretty awesome. Making it just that much harder to take it down. Up next, we got Moxie! And Moxie, holy shit. It is an amazing ability that, for every time you knock out an opponent, your attack stat gets boosted by one stage! You just become the sweeper that keeps on sweeping, man! And lastly, we got Shedskin. Yes, Shedskin. Damn, Shedskin is awesome because what this does is you have a 30% chance to cure yourself of any status affliction. That means burn, paralysis, sleep, poison, anything. Shedskin is like, um, well, let me just shed that shit off for you there real quick. There you go, you're good to go, baby. Now let's take a look at the stats up in this bitch. So we got 65 on the HP, not too impressive. We got 9 on the attack. Okay, we're, we're kind of getting there, we're getting there. Holy shit, 115 on the defense, that's special defense! This thing is damn bulky! And we got a lot of uses for you, boy. We got 45 on the special attack, that's... Eh, uh, come on, bro. And then 58 on the speed. Okay, okay. The thing is a little bit slow, but you want to know something? The bitch gets Dragon Dance. And speaking of Dragon Dance, how about we navigate our way to Pokemon Showdown right now. So the first set I'd like to introduce to you is going to be a Dragon Dance set. We got a Lumberry, which means that anytime you get status, that Lumberry kicks in, your status is gone. It's a one-time use. And we'll be going with Moxie, that way that for every time you KO an opponent, well guess what, bitch? Your attack stack is driven up by one stage. First move we got is d -d 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 Dragon Dance, and Dragon Dance boosts your attack and speed by one stage. Up next, we got High Jump Kick Face 130 Fighting Type Power with 90% accuracy. But be warned though, guys, you gotta be warned. If you miss, you're gonna get seriously fucked up. And I mean really fucked up. Because that takes away half of your health every time you miss. Up next, we got Knock Off. Knockoff is an awesome base 65 Dark Titan, but one of my favorite moves to be there is. And it damages your opponents even more by 50% when you knock off their held item, making them as useless as garbage. And up next, now see, here's the thing, here's the thing. Depending on how you build your team is totally dependent on the last move here. You can go for Iron Head for fairies, but let me just scroll down for you here real quick. Let me just scroll down. The thing gets things like Drain Punch, it gets Fire Punch, it gets things like uh, Ice Punch, Outrage, Poison Jab, you know, Power Up Punch, and let's see what else. Zen Headbutt, 
Thunder Punch, all that stuff. It's like, you can throw any one of those moves in there. Hey, if you don't like the recoil of high jump kick, if you miss and fuck yourself up, guess what we got? We got Drain Punch, and Drain Punch, base 75, fighting type move, and half the damage you inflict gets converted into health restoration. So hey, you know, you could be a restorative sweeper, a restorative dragon dance moxie sweeper. Now let's take with the EV spread up in this. So we're going to be going with the Jolly Nature to maximize as much speed as possible. Max attack, max speed, four special defense. There you go, baby. And after a couple of dragon dances, you're going to be hitting a pretty respectable speed. A very respectable speed. And the thing has a lot of bulk, and has plenty of opportunities to set up on the dragon dance. And yeah, we got malware kicking in there. Anyways, up next, we got a choice band set. And this, this is fucking deadly, okay? This is deadly. This is meant to switch in, get that intimidate drop off, and it's gonna drop your ass off in the KO club with a choice band boosted move. So we got choice band to lock you into one move at the co at the price of the fact that you get a 50% boost in your attack stat. Up next, we're gonna be going with intimidate because why not? Intimidate's good. It's really good. You can go with something like Moxie if you want to be just that much more deadly. As a matter of fact, excuse me one moment. Let me just add that in real quick, because Moxie looks better on a Choice Bandit set. We got High Jump Kick, and High Jump Kick is balls to the walls, maximum power, it's high risk, but high, high reward. And up next, we got Knock Off. We got Knock Off, guys, because Knock Off is a great dark type stab that just complements it so freaking well with High Jump Kick fighting types. We got Drain Punch, so okay, so you don't want to risk getting your fucking knees broken when you miss your high jump kick. That's fine, bro. That's fine. Drain Punch is just so good because of the fact that it restores your health for half the damage you inflict on your opponents. And hey, if your choice band Moxie boosted, you're going to be getting a lot of health back. And lastly, like I said, the last move is entirely up to you on how you build your team, okay? We got Poison Jab for them damn fairies, but you can use things like Dragon Claw. You can use things like the Elemental Punches, Zen Headbutt, things like that. Outrage, it's like, bro, the thing is so versatile. And then we got this. We have its EV spread. Now we got 156 into its HP and 100 into speed. And the reason for that, we want to have uh, the speed equivalent of a an uninvested base 70 uh, Pokemon. So that means that you'd be able to outspeed slower walls in the RU tier. Things like Alamomola, things like Jellicent, things like that. You know, the Pokemon that would really give you trouble. And then obviously we maxed out the attack. At 252 EVs, and we're going with an adamant nature. Three or six attack points. Factor in choice band boost. Factor in potential moxie boost. That's gonna be some crazy ass numbers up in this. Up next, we got. Oh, yes. We got one of my favorite sets. We have the bulk up rest shed skin combination, okay? Now get this we got leftovers to allow you to have passive recovery. We got Shed Skin as a way that you have a... Th it's 33% chance, not 30% chance. Excuse me, I've been slightly incorrect in this video. 33% chance of having its status cured at the end of each turn. And then we got Bulk Up to Bulk Up the Muscles! Bulking up all day, every day. Boost your attack and defense stats by one stage. And then we got Rest! We got Rest. It puts you to sleep for two turns, but you're fully healed up. And that means that Shedskin has a 33% chance of kicking in, and you're wide awake to kick ass and take names, write checks and cash checks that other people's asses can't cash. Up next, we got Drain Punch, because Drain Punch on the defensive set, defensive setup set, is fucking amazing. And then we got Knock Off, we got Knock Off for that secondary dark type stab, and also as a way to check 
other Pokemon who are heavily dependent on the held items. Yeah? How do you feel about having your leftovers slapped right out of your mouth? Thanks to knockoff. It's not gonna feel too good. And then the EV spread! We got the careful nature because we want to have that max special defense, which looks nice and sexy. We got 248 into its HP, 252 into attack, into defense, special defense, holy fuck! And 8 into speed. That way you can outpace other rival uninvested Scrafty. And this right here allows for you to be at an odd HP number. That way that you can have more chances to switch into entry hazards. Not that you would want to switch an entry hazard, because I'm telling you I hate entry hazards! I love setting them up because I'm I'm a douche that way. But I hate it when people set them up against me. Because I'm a cop. And littering is illegal. And I consider your step your entry hazards to be littering. I'm just joking when I say I'm a cop. I'm just a regular dude! A regular dude that loves YouTube, that loves Pokemon, that loves all of you. So anyways, with those three sets set aside, I want to introduce you guys to the best, the best set ever. Are you ready? Are you ready, guys? We got choice specs! <laughs> yes, baby, we got choice specs. <laughs> we, choice specs. Locks you into one move, but boosts your special attack by 50%. We got Intimidate, because Intimidate just fits so well on this, is this set here. We got Dark Pulse. Base 80, special Dark type move with a 20% chance to flinch. And then we got Focus Miss, I mean Blast. It's base 120 power with a 70% chance accuracy. And it's a 10% chance to lower your opponent's special defense by one stage. Up next, we got Sludge Bomb. 3% chance to poison your opponents, and it's a special poison type move. And then we got G -G 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 Grass Knot, which is a grass type move that damages to your opponents according to their weight. As for the EV spread, we're gonna go with the Modest Nature to boost your special attack. And then we got this we got the EV spread. We got 248 into its HP, 252 into special attack and 8 into special defense. <laughs> okay guys, let me ask you a question. How many of you guys actually thought that this was a serious set? I mean, why why would you want to sacrifice its base 90 physical attack in comparison to its base 45 uh, special attack? Why? Well, who knows? I mean, it could actually work, because, I mean, with Choice Specs boosting your special attack with full investment, you reach, like, 310 special attack. I mean, that could be good. That could be good. But, yeah. This set is more or less a joke, so please take it with a grain of salt. Anyways, that's all I gotta say about Scrafty, about these sets, and about this whole video! So, hey, if you like this video, then feel free to shoot me a like. Likes are good. Can we hit 20 likes up in this? I think we can. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to the Masher Army as we are a community that appreciates, accepts, and salutes everybody. Thanks for watching. Now I gotta get my ass to the gym.